So TOK stands for Theory of Knowledge. It's basically an introduction to philosophy class and a critical thinking course. And the reason why we, we teach it as part of the diploma is because it's basically a way to tie together everything that the students have done in their, in their career as a learner and to tie it all together to show how knowledge is connected. And this exhibition in particular is a way for them to show how it manifests itself in the world through objects that are important to them as knowers and as people. So students would choose things related to their culture or to their sport that they're interested in or their hobbies or even just mundane objects like uh, a feather that their grandfather gave them, let's say, uh, oftentimes are connected to way deeper pieces of information, knowledge that, that connects to their education as a whole. So it's, it's a way for them to connect all of the things that they've learned, even since kindergarten, to where they are right now as a learner. My first object was a German word, which I find hard to translate. My second object was a painting, which is hard to describe if not seen and interpreted properly. And the last one is a German gesture, which my dad uses a lot. Each of my objects goes in relation to things such as culture or things such as tr struggling to communicate and struggling to translate things growing up. And my other one is things I see in daily life. It's a gesture that my dad does a lot and I refer to it through showing how he means to say certain things that my friends have tr struggled to interpret in the way that he means to say it. So my entire TOK is just related to the prompt in a way of that communication is flawed and I kind of just went and explored why communication is flawed and in what ways that affects different sections of life. The personal connection to most of the things in my project were related to me being German and me as a novice German speaker growing up in an international environment and how I kind of developed the way in which I communicated my knowledge through figuring my way through the flaws of communication of knowledge. I chose uh, the objects, a piece of artwork, a piece of music, and an equation. And I chose these because they are very clear distinctions of the three levels of interpretation being full interpretation of a piece of artwork, partial interpretation in terms of a piece of music, and concretely no interpretation in terms of a mathematical equation. Each of them were sort of something that I've interacted with very recently. Uh, the artwork was something that I was uh, told to do, assigned to do for a Thai project, and it sort of became this whole thing that I did last year for in terms of like how schools are run and how like the Thai school system works. This led to like cast projects and things. Uh, the music is a piece of uh, wind ensemble music that I was elected to play a solo for, so I had to sort of write my own music and adapt it to my instrument. And then the mathematical equation, which is the quadratic equation, was actually one of the first equations I was introduced to that out, like, out of the basic stuff. And it sort of was like my first look into like, the more advanced mathematical uh, elements. I chose the tarot cards because it is mysterious. Uh, it makes people curious about it. And also it has the connection with fortune telling, which some people believe and some do not. And I choose the figure skating boots because figure skating is not a really popular sport and the knowledge is more limited as to a certain group of athletes. But the, um, there are some certain perspective about beauty, like costume designing, music, and dance that can be shared with the general population. And for the telescope picture, it's more on a scientific perspective. Um, well, I feel like I'm contributing to a uh, subject and I identify as a member of that community. This is the first time we've done it in person. Uh, we, uh, because of COVID, we, we weren't able to do it in person. So we did it digitally for basically three years in a row. And that was fantastic. And people were able to share a lot but this is the first time we've done it in person and, and you can really tell it's brought the community together a lot more than um, we were able to over Zoom. So we're really happy that people were in the same room and some family members came and other classes came to join. So I think, I think next year will be even bigger.